Hey boys and girls, welcome to Mr. Moose's neighborhood. Can you say, holy icy chip, it's hot? Yeah, it's hot. So if I seem a little loopy, it's probably because of the heat. So, in this video today, uh, in my newly organized and reconfigured garage, uh, I am going to be scrapping 18 desktops. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be pulling them apart carefully, see what I can salvage for resale and then scrap the rest. So, without further ado, just gotta move this over here. That. All right. First one looks like an e-machine. All right. Hopefully, the lighting isn't horrible. I like to unscrew the power supply while I'm out back here because, you know, it just helps. Alright. Oh, look. The, uh, the machine's seal is still good. Like it should be because I heard stuff rattling. What in the world is that? Ooh, that stuff smells too. Yeah. Huh. Oh, Alright. So well, we got Mr. Power Supply. which appears to be in full working order. So, I'm going to put that aside. These, I like to sell them in lots. Maybe like five power supplies for 40 bucks or something. It's better than what you're going to get at the uh, scrapyard. we got a little pinless processor. You know, these are the guys. Um, this is an Intel Celeron, um, so it's pinned, it's a little pinned processor, but it's, those are like right in the gray area where they're really not worth a whole hell of a lot. Um, I find that, uh, so the ceramic ones, and, you know, the brown fiber, black fiber, green fiber, those are all, you know, okay for gold recovery, um, but they're pinless. And those with the, the big you know, copper heat sink on the back, those tend to be more valuable for resale. So that's what I does with them. Right. And we've got a slot card, which is a modem slot card. Looks to be in perfect condition, so I will set that aside carefully. And see what we can get for that. And we got the motherboard. thing I look for with drives is, are they the, um, is the IDE or the SATA? If they're the SATA, then there's really much less on them for gold recovery. So I tend to not bother with them quite as much. Important to note, I don't know if you can see that, there's a recycle symbol there, so make sure that gets recycled. Disk drives, so this is a, a compact disk drive. These typically are not worth very much resale, um, but again, it's got the uh, 
the IDE pins there, so I will take that board out. And we got the hard drive. And this is model Seagate. Hmm. Does not say what size, but again, this has got the um, IDE pins on it, so it's older, so it's not going to be as big. Uh, but that logic board is going to be worth uh, a good bit for gold recovery. Did I mention it's hot here? This is uh, usually the hottest time of year for me. Alright, so there's the motherboard. We've got one RAM stick, which is a 128 megabyte. So that's getting scrapped. Nice little VGA right there. It's the uh, the good kind. Hopefully it's got it. No. So nice little piece of aluminum there. Um, yeah. So the, that's not a, a great chip for gold recovery, but you know, if you want to pull it off, you can. Get the battery out. So yeah. So I'll I'll put these aside and. And I've got my air chisel set up, and I'll uh, pull off what I want, hand pick some of the smaller stuff like the MLCCs, and then we're done. That's one down. change the bit on me. Sweet. Unscrew the power supply because you're gonna have to do it anyway. So, we've got two RAM sticks. Those out. They are two gigabyte. Um, so, I'm actually going to pull those aside and check out the value of them online. Because oftentimes they're worth more, especially the newer ones, they're worth more. Here in Maine, you know, if that winters, maybe tend to keep 
the winter, things usually get dusty in the house. So I'm surprised that that's not dusty. Alright, so there's another power supply here, put to the side. Connectors, I'll set those off and sell those separately. Alright, I've never seen a logic board like that before. Alright, let's see what we've got here. This is a Hitachi. 160 gigabyte, so not worth a whole lot. Alright, so we got a heat sink here. So this uh, you can sell as copper aluminum radiator uh, or you can pull off those pieces of copper and um, okay. still get radiator price. Something you might want to do is this little square right here on the bottom. Take a file to it. Yep, aluminum. I can tell because when I scrape, uh, number one, it comes off really easy. And number two, uh, I was thinking it might be copper underneath that. Sometimes there's like tin coated copper, but it's white underneath it, so. It ain't. Did I mention it's hot here? It's not so much the heat as the humidity that gets you up here. We have a fairly like hot but dry July. Then come August, it just gets miserable. screwdriver. Makes it a bit easier. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got a large heat sink on that CPU. This is an AMD. Uh, AMD uh, 2009. Okay. Hold on, I'm getting to it. AMD Athlon 2. So, I mean, I'll check it out to see what they're worth, but it's pinned. Um, so I don't imagine it's going to be worth a whole lot. But that copper heat sink is. Damn, that thing's heavy. Alright, and we've got another little aluminum heat sink there with not much of a chip underneath it. Um, I don't really see any decent flat packs on this, which is slightly disappointing, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Alright, so, set that aside, put that on the board. 
Nice aluminum heat sink here. This is going to be nice for um, that aluminum casting that I'm going to be doing soon. Alright, so the only thing left in this one is a DVD drive up here, but it's got the uh, SATA, not the SATA but, uh, it's, it's, it's not an IDE pin connector, so I'm not going to bother with it. These cooling fans. Um, my scrapyard doesn't like to take them because they're too much plastic. So I just throw them back in the tower. And what are we going to do? Alright, let's see what we Next, I'm going to chop the block. This one's already been open. Well, that's fun. Alright, so we've got this little disk drive here, cut the pins, I'll probably just uh, crack that part off, because that's pretty much all I want. Uh, maybe that IC chip right there. There it is. What I want of that, the rest of that's just iron. Okie dokie. Power supply. I see a slot card there that's locked in over here, so I'm going to take that plate out now. Alright, so what do we have there for the slot card? This. Video looks like some kind of video card, so probably not very high end. But I will put it aside, look it up, and see what it's worth. It's better to uh, you're going to make more money off it. It's got working parts. It always pays to do that first. Move the sellables aside. All right, we've got a friggin' bowl of spaghetti here. Look at this. That's oh, that's intense. Um, I want to make sure I don't cut any of the wires that go to the power supply because that is resellable. Yeah, my uh, nephew CJ is living with me. Uh, he bought a computer. Around Christmas time, maybe? One of those big fancy gaming computers. And the, uh, the power supply died in it. And it was like over 100 bucks for a new power supply. So there is a market for them. Alright, so there's the power supply. Everything looks good, not cut. Put that aside. Plus, people use them for, you know, like, all kinds of other things. You know, like, some people will use them as, like, power supplies for other projects, not just for inside of a computer. Some people use them for, um, I guess, lab power supplies, or I'm not that tech savvy, so I, I can't really think of any good examples of what they're used for. I think I saw one guy use it for um, uh, reverse Electroplating cell. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to take off the uh, heat sink off the CPU. And 
Let's see what kind of CPU we have. It's tiny. We've got, well, we've got a nice big uh, aluminum heat sink. That's cool. RAM sticks are, wow, four gigabyte. Two four gigabyte sticks. So these will probably get anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. So I'm going to put those aside. Let's see what we have for our CPU. Alright, so it's pinless, which means it's probably i3 or better. And um, I need to get some paper towels out here. Wiping this on the corner of my workbench. Alright. Oh, no shit. Pardon my language. Huh. So this was an Intel Core i7. So this is going to be, that CPU is going to be worth some money. Um, I'm kind of regretting that I took it apart now. Because I need a new computer and an i7 would be great. Oh well, I'm sure it will be more to come. I don't know if you guys have seen the, the Moose, the Golden Goose, and other junk videos. I mentioned this uh, big contract that I got. That's why I'm cleaning up all this stuff today. And the heat. Um, it's because I need room. I'm pretty sure that there'll be you know, a computer in there that I can fix up and use for eBay and all the YouTube stuff. So this video, um, this is going to be a long video. This is kind of like a an e-waste bend kind of video. Just um, hey, this is what I'm doing today, kind of thing, which you know, is really great. And it's, it's a great idea. It's, I'm sure it's eye-opening for a lot of people who want to get into this and don't really realize you know, the time that's involved. Yeah. All right. So there we go. There's that. Oh yeah, this one had the side was on this one. Mama. And there's my little aluminum heat sink. Melt that. Make sure we take out those batteries. Um yeah, so underneath that heat sink was one of those little chips. It's like a flip chip or something, but they're really not worth a whole heck of a lot. Uh, but I do see over here, very tiny, it's like a Wi-Fi card. That I will remove if I can, because it has little gold fingers on it. I mean, these Wi-Fi cards are not worth a whole hell of a lot. Uh, three to four bucks, typically. So, if you want to take the time after fees and everything, you're probably making you know, two dollars. For me, it's just not worth it. Uh, but yeah. so that's it for this one. That was. And again, this disk drive on this one, it's nothing special. Um, so I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm not going to bother pulling anything out. Of it. Use this to throw in scraps of light iron. I'll do this one next, and then after this, the next 14 are all pretty much identical. Alright, so this is a Pentium 4, Windows XP. So on this, I can tell you that um, this is not going to be a whole lot in here worth resale. Still worth taking a look at. And these are fairly easy to take apart. They have just one of these little flaps and just lift up and move.
Alright, so for cards, wow, there's four of them in here. Nice. So we've got this one, which looks like NVIDIA GeForce 2MX. So that, I'm definitely going to look up the price on that, see what that's worth. Sound Blaster Live. Now this one is, I mean these cards are cool because they have a lot of like you know, gold flashing all over the board. But it's, I mean, the flashing out here is so thin compared to you know, what's on the, the fingers. Alright, what else we got? Got, looks like a modem. Modem and a CNET card, internet or Ethernet card. So again, I'll look up those part numbers and see if they're worth. And what do we got for RAM? We've got 256 megabyte RAM sticks. So these are not worth a whole heck of a lot. This one is also two, uh, 128 megabytes. It's worth even less. So these these are going to get scrapped. And keep digging. the stack to get sold. Pentium 4. So this, again, it's a pinned processor with a copper heat sink on the top. Uh, I'm going to check that out, see what it's worth. And in the meantime, less and less of computers with ribbon wire. Um, I mean, it's not the best quality wire, but it has weight, which is, which is kind of nice, uh, depending on what your scrapyard pays you for it. Sometimes it's still nice to come across. Hunt for screws. 
so we pull that whole thing out. And wow, this one's got a ton of MLCCs all over there. Oh, those are nice. Pull those off by hand. Um, oh, and even this thing over here has got the nice chunky ones over there. Alright, so the motherboards. And this one does have two disk drives that have IDE pins. So we've got those gold plated pins in there, so there's more gold in these than the other ones. Put those aside. And this one is done. Put that back in there. Alright. More for the light iron pile. Alright, so now we get back to this thing. So now the rest of these are all going to be the same. Windows 7 Pro. Selling them with a sticker saying what the uh, the only difference, the only variable in some of these things is the processor. Some of them are i3s and some of them are AMD something or other. Um, so make sure we pay attention to that. The RAM. So this is a, a four gigabyte RAM stick. So again, I'm going to put this aside because those do sell. Starting to get to the point that where they're not selling quite as well. Now it's more the eight gigabyte or what have you, but yeah, it still sells. First time I've actually seen a hard drive like that. I'll show you folks that in a second. It's right there. It's, it's like a little flat piece of plastic. Alright, so the power supply go up for sale. That is cool. I've never seen anything like that. This it's it's smaller than like a laptop thing. This is a 2.5 inch, 128 gigabyte SATA 6.0 GP GBPS hard drive. Huh. I want to keep that just to see what it's worth. No scrap value on those, sorry. So that's out. Now we'll get the motherboard.
heat sink, which again is another copper aluminum fin radiator. Um, which you know you can take these two pieces of copper off and still get that same same price for it. Get the CPU, which is another pinned CPU over here. Wipe off the. So it's an AMD A4 7300. So again, I'm gonna try not to damage the pins and uh, see what that's worth. But again, you know, pinned processors are typically not worth anywhere near as much as the other ones. And I accept it collectible ceramics. All right, another board. So this one, again, with, with all these new computers, we're seeing less and less of all the good gold bearing stuff. Um, like VGA chips, I mean, I don't know if I'm just getting the cheap ones, but, and again, no BGAs on this at all. And there's, there's this, which is like a flip chip, it's not really worth a whole lot. But, eh. All right, so it's getting pretty hot out here, um, so I don't know if I'm going to go jump in the pool for a bit, cool off, and then come back and finish the rest of them, uh, but um, the rest of them, there's 13 more, and they're all identical to the last one, so that's pretty much it. The scrapping PCs, you know, it's, it's really important that if you want to make the most money from them, that you're, you're aware of the value of the components. Um, like that i7 CPU that I found, I mean, that's probably going to be worth, you know, at the very least, 50 bucks. Um, so, I can try looking it up right now on, on eBay. Which one was? Intel Core i7. So let's look up Intel for i7. Yep, so they're going... Yeah, 50 bucks and up. Oh, that one's... That one's 120, so I'd... Let's see exactly what kind I have here. I7-4770. Wow, yep, so that one's worth 113 bucks. Or anywhere from, well... From 77 to 140. Wow, that one's 180. Well, let's look at filter, what they're selling for. I'm forgetting to do that. Sold items. Um, uh, yeah, 135, 130. That's what they're going for. So sweet. So that's, uh, that's a good part of the way towards my new computer right there. All right, so make sure you, make sure you check these things, all right? It's definitely worth your time. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. I'm not going to bore you with uh, scrapping out you know, the rest of the identical ones. Uh, but again, make sure you check out what these things are worth on eBay. Um, I mean, there, there's no harm in, in reselling this. That people's information is not on RAM sticks. It's not on. It's not in slot cards. It's, if it's if it's not on the on the hard drive, you're safe. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, commenting. See you all in the next one.